everybody, my name is Spammels, and today we are unboxing the Titanic Honor and Glory ship model. This is available from their website where they have a range available from Olympic to Britannic in both hospital and passenger livery, but this is not a paid promotion, but a gift. Thank you to Zeno Silver who makes these for Honor and Glory, who is kind enough to send me one in the post as a gift, because he loves what we do here, and we love him too. So show him some love down below. And so, without any more stalling, let's begin! Right, so as it stands, I haven't opened this up yet. I've cracked open the top just to make sure nothing got damaged in transport, but it seemed okay. So we're going to dive in together for the first time. Got this handy overhead camera here, so you can get a bird's eye view about what's going on in the box. Right. Opening up the top. Oh, got lots and lots of packaging. Bubbles, everybody. Hang on, hang on. Has to be done. <laughs> oh, this one already burst. After that, we got ourselves. Oh, little bit of poppy paper. Right, I'm seeing pieces. I'm seeing pieces. First, the main, the main everything. Right, got ourselves a big old grey box. There you go. On the side, it's got RMS Titanic. And then on the other side, it's got the Titanic Honor and Glory logo. Popping that box down a second. We've got a couple more pieces in here. Oh no! I think we might have a victim. I don't know. Okay, so we've got a teeny tiny box with SS Nomadic, which also comes with this particular set. That's optional though. You can get it with or without. Nomadic escaped the box whilst in transit. I'll get you close-ups in a second. Let's put that to one side. Coming up on the end, we've got ourselves a stand. This is also 3D printed. Everything here is 3D printed and then hand painted and any assembly hand done. Here's the stands, Titanic and SS Nomadic on it. And lastly, I got a letter. I think this is more of a personal letter for me, so I won't read it out, but thank you very much, Zeno. I have read it, received, love your face. Mwah. Right, so here we go, on to the good stuff. I'm holding it in with my pinkies, but yeah, it's a snug fit in there, it fits. It's not really gonna move around very much in transit. There you go, that's how it arrives inside of this 3D printed box. Wow. There it is, everybody, the ship itself. Maybe uh, dubbing in some uh, high quality video with my proper camera. I have to say, this is phenomenal work. This really is. Like when you think of 3D printing, uh, you might think like it would be having lots of defects everywhere and being kind of lesser than say a traditional model. But no, this is this is exceptionally well done. So I'm hugging all the all the visuals. I'm looking at it when you should be looking at it. The level of detail that's gone into this is amazing. I'm looking at the forward well deck, the the bollards, they're painted, uh, deck motors, the cargo hatches, and everything. Like no matter how small, it is all painted. He's even got the auxiliary anchor in there. Looking up at the bridge on the bridge wings, they've even got the navigational lights, the the red and the green light. That's so. If you're a ship heading towards this ship, you can kind of tell what's the left and right of that ship you know even the capstans that they're black on the bottom but then they, they got the, the bronze on the top painting jobs really 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 good oh i just noticed underneath mine's number 148 apparently I, i'm meant to be recording a video but i'm just having fun looking at this it is i'm i couldn't be happier with how this has come out it looks absolutely amazing but wait there's more while i believe the uh, earliest versions that they produced didn't contain masts this one does now they're very fragile because of how thin they are. Uh, I believe the scale on this is one to 1,000. There's one, it's like a toothpick, but thinner. Now on the model itself, it's got a hole where this bad boy is gonna go. And I think it's as easy as just dropping it in. I got one in. Doesn't go very deep into the hole. There you go, masts are in and they're looking fabulous. Right, and that's the Titanic, everybody. Now, you can get this on its own, just like this, but also available is a Titanic and Nomadic combo with the appropriate stand made to display them both side by side. I believe Zeno and his wife. Thank you to Zeno Silver who makes these, make these together. I think it's amazing that they can do this as a couple. It's, it's like a lovely little bonding activity. Okay, so the little nomadic box. Look at that little ship in there. It's like a micro machine. <laughs> now, I was very happy to hear they was doing the nomadic with them because but we need more nomadic in our lives. Let's be honest here. And the detailing, once again, is on par with the Titanic model. It looks absolutely fantastic. I wasn't expecting that. So they've even captured the stairs on the on the stern that go down into the ship. That's really good. Now it doesn't have any navigational equipment, so no helm, no telegraph. But I mean, it would be teeny tiny small at this scale. So you can you can forgive them for not including that. <laughs> now the time has come to assemble the entire ensemble. The stand got these pokey things, obviously. <laughs> but what I've noticed on the bottom, they've done this kind of crisscross kind of 
cut to it. So it's actually got some grip underneath it. It's not just a silky smoothy surface you know, slide around everywhere. Actually got a little bit of grip to it. That's pretty clever. Right, so no assembly required. You just got to line up the two holes. Just pop it on, stands, just like that. Boom. Oh, oh, there you go. There you go. Already presentable. Little nomadic up front. I can't see the thing. Hang on, I got a cheat and look over. Hang on. There you go. Nomadic is on side by side alongside the Titanic. That is an amazing display. I might even get one of those kind of uh, perspex boxes to put this in. I'm not sure how much it costs with Nomadic. The Titanic alone, I think, is like 50 bucks. The model I've already got, that's going in the bin. Um, this is this has replaced it. <laughs> if I drop it now, that'd be heartbreaking. The way I'm holding it right now, I'm just looking down the port side at a really nice angle. And it, it just, there's lots of detail. Like, it's fascinating just to look at. <laughs> it really is. So final thoughts about the Titanic Honor and Glory ship model. While I'm holding it, it looks absolutely amazing. If you were considering getting one, but you weren't quite sure, I'll take it from me. This looks absolutely fantastic. The only problem you're going to find is that when you have one, you're going to want the other ones as well. Because now I want Olympic and Britannic, damn it. <laughs> anyway, that's an episode for this time. I really hope you enjoyed this. We don't get to do this kind of thing very often. So thank you so very much, Zeno, for sending us this amazing gift. It's going to sit pride of place on my bedside cabinet. Right, if you want to check this out yourself, there is a link in the description box down below. Go crazy. And if you do happen to buy one, send me a picture on Twitter. I would love to see you with your brand new model. And on that bombshell, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.